Design Studio. What is up, y'all? It's your girl Lala, aka Lachelle, aka Shell, aka Michelle, my bell. And I'm here with a kind of serious video. It's not negative, but I'm coming at y'all on my big sister swag like I do sometimes. So listen, as someone who has had a active second life account for 14 years, no, I haven't played for 14 years straight, but I do, you know, even if I take a year or two break, I'll peek my head in and notice that ain't nothing changed but the names, you know what I mean? A little mesh update here, a little hair update there, but for the most part, the people still operate the same. Let me tell y'all something. I have seen people come into this game and create lucrative businesses for themselves so much so that they can support their first life aka the outside of the game life i've seen it they got documentaries on it if you think i'm lying you really can make a life for yourself if you want to here people have met the love of their life in this game like for real have gotten off the grid got married came back to the grid as a married couple people have met their best friends like again a lot of great things can happen here but you also need to remember a lot of bad things can happen too. Just like there are snakes off the grid, there are snakes on the grid. Except sometimes on the grid, it's a little bit worse because just like any other internet platform, people can recreate themselves. And sometimes the people who are bullied become the bullies. The people who are normally used to not having a lot of money off grid, in the grid, they can live like kings and queens. Because let's keep it a buck. Like, you can get... 9500 linden for 40 dollars so you get you a smooth like 100 200 you can have a nice second life and have everything that you can't have in first life which that's the intent right the economy is whooping a lot of people tails so i get it you come here to live the paradise that it seems like a lot of the major organizations in the world we ain't gonna get too political you can have a lot of the things that they don't want you to have right again you can connect uh, people who have things like physical disabilities, they can come and do things in second life that they can't do in first life. They can experience people that they wouldn't have the opportunity to get out and experience. Again, it can be a great thing, but y'all need to be careful. And the reason I brought that up is I've watched so many people come into this game with so much potential to do great things. Let's just speak from a business perspective. They have so much potential to do great things, to do the very thing I mentioned in the beginning, like how they can take their second life business and make first life coin. Do y'all hear me? Coin. And then not just that, it'll be so lucrative that they start networking with outside agencies because they see what they're doing in the virtual world. Like this a game? But it's also not a game. You can make some shmoney. And I don't mean scammer shmoney. I don't mean that. I mean, you can make legit. You might have to do some 1099s and stuff like that type of money. You can if you play your cards right. But if you play them wrong, <laughs> you can lose a lot of money. Stop making these people your CSRs, your group admin, your uh, moderators, your managers of your businesses just because y'all cool. Just like people will sink your ship in first life, they'll sink it in second life. You got friends around you right now that's cool with you doing good until you do better than them. You got friends around you right now that's constantly telling you about how hard it is for them to get on. If they only had the chance, if they only had a chance, you give them the chance and they get greedy. And they don't even have to be greedy about money. They get power hungry. There are people here who maybe in first life, they're not used to being seen. They're not used to having a position of authority. And they get it in second life and get crazy with it. Attention is a hell of a drug if y'all haven't learned by now. And don't think because this is a virtual world with avatars and all that other stuff, metaverse swag, that people won't go just as crazy over the in-game attention as they would on like Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, YouTube, and any of the other platforms. People, people act up just like that. Again, the documentaries on that too. Be mindful of the people. I'm watching somebody right now and I'm like, this could really be dope, but somebody needs to gatekeep. And I don't mean the unhealthy gatekeep where you don't want to share stuff. I mean, somebody need to be standing at the gate like, let me see your badge. <laughs> let me check the list. Put your arms out. Use a virtual meta detector because everybody in your circle ain't right. And I feel like people's ego 
could potentially take this person's business down because they acting like bus patrols. Them kids that normally get picked on and then they get that bus patrol belt. I don't know if they still do that. I'm about to, you know, I'm almost telling my age. <laughs> they get the bus patrol belt and then they start acting up. Like some of y'all go nuts over a moderator tag, <laughs> over a group admin tag, over a CSR tag. Like you ain't never had authority in your life and we can tell. People have never listened to you in your life and we can tell. You ain't never been the it girl or the it guy in your life and we can tell. And you business owners need to start using your discernment and doing some type of security clearance checks on the people that y'all are putting in charge. Because while you away, maybe working your first life job, sleeping, <laughs> spending time with your first life friends and family, they in here wreaking havoc under your name. And the irony is they can take your business down, take some of the stuff that they got from you and go start their own with a clean slate. Everybody going to be talking about you, though, and how you were ran. Some of y'all need to tighten up y'all ships because it ain't what you think. Y'all got a lot of inmates running the asylum is what I'm trying to tell you. And I know for a fact people who have walked away from businesses, not because of the owners, but because of the admin. Y'all keep letting these people on because they're your friends and they come to you acting like, no, I got your back. I ain't going to let nobody play with you. And really, they just got a nasty attitude, a bad temper. They power hungry and they love attention. They couldn't care less about taking care of you or your business. But in your mind, all you hear them saying is, I got your back. I got your back. And don't know that they are making a mess of your name. So now that we got that out the way y'all let me finish this vlog <laughs> i hope to see y'all next week in the live chat if you didn't see last week's vlog that we just aired on saturday go check that out and yes i do replay the live chat on the playback so that means everybody who didn't make it you get to see all this trash we was talking <laughs> during the premiere and just like last week i'm going to premiere this week's vlog on saturday at 7 p.m central time 8 p.m eastern time i hope to see y'all there i'll be announcing the giveaway winners and as i say keep your circle so tight that it becomes a period <laughs> peace y'all